Hey everybody. Kiwi Sim Racer here. Acting as a stick tonight. Playing simple socks. Nothing special. It's fogging up a bit in here though. <laughs> it's quite warm in a helmet. Helmets are for outside. Should try racing one. Anyway, nah, no, gotta open this up, damn, All right, get me up. Ooh. Right, Whew, that's better. Okay, it's been some, it's been some issues, well, not issues, there's been some comments on uh, on JT's page regarding diffs, it not working, etc., and anti roll bar stuff. So I thought. What I might do is uh, just a little video showing how it all works. Right, so here we go. Get on into it. Okay, just before we get into the game, all right, we will see this screen. Press race. Select your car. Go into the tuning menu. All right. Got a little bit of an itchy beard there. All right. Beautiful car. Very beautiful. Best parts on the back. Not a lot, probably see that part. I think it's an absolute gem. Car was made for me. Guy did it was pretty damn good. Craig Laws. Thanks mate, champion. Um and then Jimmy put it in the game. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, anyway, it's enough for for me, all, I've even got my own ad. Mike's mate. Instagram. Get on there. Get into it. Anyway, back to cars. What I'll do is I'll start with the brake pedal. Not many people know this. Some do, some don't. And um, just put the uh, caveat out there to begin with. Oh, I'm not a champion of this game. Just learn shit as I go along. Listen and learn. So brake pedal level number one, as you can see down the bottom here, it's for a potentiometer. Potentiometer pedal, 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 pedal. All right. Um, so if you've got a potentiometer style pedal, 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 uh, use that one. If you're like me and you've got a load cell, pedal, pedal, use that one. Use number two. All right. So that's that's the difference in the in the pedals, and you'll you'll know what sort of pedal you've got with your um. So in the box of your pedal came in. It'll be a um, pedal or a, or a pedal. Yeah, you know, like your uh, what are they? The Logitech ones. They're just poten potentiometers. The one that I've got down here is the uh, Thrustmaster. Was it the T TLCM ones? T yep, 1011 care those ones. Uh, they've got a load cell. I don't know about the rest. What else is out there? I just know about those because I've been there, done that. Anyway, so I run on level two. Anyway, let's go back to to diffs. Right, so this is where we find our, our diff setup. So remembering, we just we're in the tuning menu. So you go to select your car, then you press the tuning button. Come up here. You wait for it to load. Then we swing it around and we show you that cool little thing that's down the bottom there. Yep, yeah, cool. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, go into the differentials. Right. So this is what we're on about when we're changing diff. Yeah. The adjustable diff is the one the game selects for the track that the car is at. Alright, so they're all um, they're said to be relatively the same, but when you're actually the Ford versus the Holden, they are slightly different. Um, potentially not showing different, but um, actually in the game, the car, the gears are different. Um, slightly longer, shorter, depending on what car, what track, what diff, etc, etc. Um, anyway, the easiest way to explain this diff ratio stuff is put it in the Bathurst diff. So down the bottom here we've got this description, it says 3.04 and then it's a ratio to 1 or whatever. Anyway, we don't need to know about that, we don't need to know the math behind it. All we need to know is that the lower the number, the, f the higher the top speed of the car. So the Bathurst diff is the lowest out of these selections of what you can use. Alright, so we're doing 298, 300-odd 300, 300 down uh, Conrod at 
at Bathurst, that's because we've got a 3.04 or the adjustable diff selected when we're at that track. Now if we were to use say this 3.7 ratio diff, which would be a, for a track that's got very short straights, if we were to put that diff on that car and go to Bathurst, we would possibly top out at maybe 240, 250 k's rather than, and, and you know, we wouldn't even be bloody past the bend on, on Conrod yet. We'd be, we'd be still going probably down the dip sort of thing um, of, the, of the straight. Um, and, and yeah, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be having much fun. You'd be sitting there on the limiter and you're going to be passing you by like you're freaking still having your wheat bags for breakfast. So that's, that's how to show the biggest difference. The higher the number, the, s the lower the top speed. The lower the number, the higher the top speed. So that's the easiest way to show it. What does it do in the game? I mean, you're coming out of a corner and, and you're in second gear and you're trying to accelerate and it's already at the top of the revs and it's bouncing off the limiter. If you were to change to a lower number, that would mean you're potentially not going to be at the top of that rev range exiting that corner. So you've still got a little bit more um, acceleration to do before you need to change gear. Yeah, some people will say, oh, you should just be in third gear. But that's that's a little tuning thing you can do there. Say say we're at, um, the, the Townsville is 3.27. Um, so say we're at um, coming out of one of the corners, say... Um, the last right-hander, you know, that big kind of double pin lock right-hander before the pits. Um, you're in second gear going through there. Say uh, you didn't think you were going fast enough, but you're on the limiter in second. If you could drop it down to 3.25, and you'd get another couple of kilometres, another couple of hundred revs out of that car in that corner before needing to change to third gear. If anyone understands that, cool. I understand it in my head, whether you guys understand it. Will you even understand my pedals? Um, who knows? But easiest way, as I said, real long straights, lower the number. Short straights, higher the number. All right, so that's that's the um, diffs and how to select them. Remembering, we're in the tuning menu. Go into tuning. Go into the differential. After looking at the back of the car, and choose your your diff for the Townsville I think I think I used the uh, 3.5 I think yep yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that anyway at the moment um, so we'll go into the game and I'll show you there's, there's also one other way to get to this menu right so we've all seen the screen going here loads up for us get in there now what you do oh, wait for everyone to load it's probably gonna boot me up because it doesn't have anything there yet there we go Go back in. Yep, go into the car. That's my car. Excuse me, too much Sprite. It's getting pretty warm in here. Can't even drink my drink. Good buddy, hold on. Anyway, oh, there we go. Some people are in the game. That's cool. <sighs> so what we do is we wait for it to load. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh, nice, yep. Okay, we're loaded. Cool, we go into the garage menu. Go over to general. And halfway down here it says final. So your final drive ratio is 3.52 remembering i chose 3.5 so that's right that's what it shows it is in game 3.52 now the other way to get to this menu so you don't have to leave track and go out and then reload back into track um, you go standings and then down the bottom here there's car select click on that and it goes straight back to that menu you still have to go tuning and then you go and select your car. The car doesn't load for me in this one. Maybe it does for some of the people. Who knows? But we'll show you the example. We'll go to the adjustable diff. So remembering I'm on 3.50. Go to the adjustable one. We go back. We go race. This is also how you can figure out what the adjustable diff setting is. So we go garage, general, Final says 3.27, so that's what the adjustable diff is here at Down Townsville, 3.27. Now we couldn't select anything that said 3.27, because there wasn't one. There was a 3.25, um, and this is the adjustable one. So, 
there's sometimes there's also a problem where if you go standings and then go down to car select and go to the tuning menu sometimes there's a problem where multiple things show up you you can't even open that piece there um, it just screws out now what I've figured to get around that is you actually have to go out of the game so you leave track go race again that's the end of the session p5 yeah he's telling me it's in a session good on you buddy and then go into the tuning menu and this will load up the car here yeah remember in that little yep love it and then the diff you select your diff let's go the bathurst diff let's go back and then we've got to go back into the game now we've got to reload it so it loads that screen it's going to load it back up again and we go from there so yeah, sometimes it screws out and you've got to actually get out of the game, or get out of this part of the game um, to go into that menu. Don't know why, don't ask me why I'm not that great at this game. Then as I go, general, here we go, the Bathurst stuff. And oh yeah, and you can also see, you're probably not going to be able to see what I'm doing, but on the, on the little graph to the right, it disappears when I move the mouse, the little graph on the right shows you where each gear is. So that ratio, if you follow the blue line all the way to the right, sixth gear is going to top out just above 300 k's. Fifth gear is going to top out maybe ooh, 260. Fifth we did fifth. Fourth, <laughs> jeez, I'm sober. Um, yeah, and so on and so forth. So for, for first, first gear tops out at well, what's that? 120. Second gear is 150. So on and so forth. Right, so that's that's your uh, diff ratios. You can't change anything in here because the way we're setting up on the server on JT server, great server JT. Good on you, mate. Thank you. I love it. Been doing it for about a year now, maybe. I'm still no good, but brilliant. Uh, you can't change anything because it's set to um, fixed setups. There's bugger all things you can change, and and that's good because it keeps the race close and um, real wheel range is one of the ones you can change. Nothing in suspension, nothing in chassis. You go over to advanced, so you can change your pedal, 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 force. Um, I always change it down a little bit on these cars. I'll throw it back up on the Formula 1 cars so I get that instant braking and all the downforce. I tend to lock up too much in this when I've got it set too high. So I set that down a little bit. So yeah, like that's that's the reason you can't change anything in, in the game as such when you're in pits. You can only change it. Um, in that selection or the car selection menu under tuning. It's the only place you can change the diff ratio. <sighs> right, getting really warm. It's too far forward. Sit in the seat's a bit awkward. It's a motorbike helmet, not a car helmet. Anyway, the last thing I wanted to say, uh, talk about was um, ARB, any roll bars. Go into settings, controls, under driving. Now look, I've already got it set up there. Stiff in front, anti roll bar. Oh shit, I don't want to do that. Let's escape the skip. Ah, oh, you twat. Stiff in front. Uh, yeah, so that's that one. Kilt. Um, so I've got my button box set up beside me there. So I've got them on little dials. So stiff in front, soft in front, stiff in rear. So you can't change those um, unless you're in the car. I believe that's how it goes, yeah. You can't change those unless you're in the car. So it's set up that you change those, and only those. There's nothing else you can change. You can't right, raise track bar. You can't change any of that stuff in the car. You can only change those. You can't change your brake bias. You can't change anything like that. It's only those. So you change those in car, but firstly you've got to come in. I don't want this helmet in ages. I hope there's not a spider in it. I feel something itching my ear. Anyway, um, yeah, change those set your buttons up and then you can change them while you're in the car um, I have them rather soft um, as, as I hear softer gives you better grip um, but the longevity of your tyre is not that grand and uh, stiffening it makes it skid a little bit better or nicer or easier I think the the, the terminology is um, what's the word I'm looking for uh, despite uh, popular belief or um, I actually have mine set quite soft and I've just started after last week's Luke's video watching that I've just started doing doing the front one bringing that softer down too and it's giving me a little bit better grip on the corners but once again yeah that spider's definitely in my ear eh? I can feel him he's, he's talking to me 
um, uh, um, where was I? Yeah, my front ones are getting a bit softer and it's giving me a bit more grip. So yeah, popular belief says I probably got mine hard because I go a bit sideways every now and then. Um, you know, once and twice in a race. Um, but yeah, I've actually got them set really soft and that's why I, I'm chewing my tyres really, really well by the end of every every race. Um, that's my driver's style, I guess. But yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. Um, like Luke said, it pays to give yourself a bit of room. Don't always just have it on detached or else uh, once your tyres go, well, you can't go any lower than detached to try and give yourself a bit more grip. But out of the box, a lot of people just will leave them. I don't know, I did for the um, first while. Um, probably wasn't until six months into racing on the server that I actually started fiddling with them. Don't do much, just, just soften the rear a little bit. Soften the front, probably 20 kgs, I think it is. I think it's in kgs, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I've done a lot of talking. Um, I think it's time for me now to go and put a couple of laps down. Do my... Do my... Uh, What's it called? I'm losing it. The spider's just right in the air, eh? Far out. Okay, I've got to get it out of this helmet. Um, hope you've learnt something. I've learnt there's a spider in this helmet. Uh, Kiwi Sim Racer out.